Our Messiah, Lord Jesus Christ, had endured the sufferings caused by the bloodthirsty men of his time. As we learn about the people behind his crucifixion through the Testaments, a disturbing question arises. What happened to these men who caused our Messiah's downfall? In this video, we will explore the horrific deaths of those who killed Jesus Christ. But first, please support us by liking, subscribing, and activating the notification bell. Let's start with Pontius Pilate. Historians know little about the cruel judge who condemned Jesus to death, but he was born in Italy or Scotland and served as the Roman prefect of Judea during Christ's ministry. According to Philo of Alexandria, Pilate was a terrible judge who stole from people and executed them without trial. Roman historian Tacitus noted that Pilate was removed from his post for excessive force, and Eusebius of Caesarea reported that Pilate committed suicide by order of Emperor Caligula, with his body thrown into the Tiber River. Next is Cassius Linus, the Roman centurion who pierced Christ's side. According to the Gospel of Nicodemus, a forbidden book of the Bible, he became a devout Christian after his vision was impaired by Christ's blood. He was later arrested and beheaded, becoming one of the early martyrs. His decapitated head was believed to have magical powers and cured King Herod of Judea. King Herod, a puppet of Rome, ruled Judea and fiercely murdered innocent people, including babies in Bethlehem, to eliminate Jesus. Experts believe he died from complications related to gonorrhea or kidney failure, suffering severe symptoms in his final days. Emperor Tiberius, who ruled Rome during Christ's time, was unaware of the events in Judea. According to Suetonius, Tiberius was poisoned, starved, and suffocated by his grandnephew Caligula. Judas Iscariot, one of Christ's apostles, betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, leading to his crucifixion. He later hanged himself, and his body underwent horrific decomposition. The Apostle Peter denied Jesus three times during his capture, but felt deep remorse. He was sentenced to crucifixion by Emperor Nero, and chose to be crucified upside down. The high priest Joseph Caiaphas ordered Jesus' arrest, and played a crucial role in his death. He lived many years after condemning Christ and died of old age, consumed by regret. Reflecting on the lives and fates of those involved in Christ's crucifixion, we see a blend of divine justice and eternal mercy. The stories of Pontius Pilate, Cassius Linus, King Herod, Emperor Tiberius, Judas Iscariot, Apostle Peter, and Joseph Caiaphas on the consequences of human actions and the possibility of redemption. We are reminded to seek God's mercy and forgiveness and live in a way that honors Jesus' sacrifice. Prayer Lord Almighty, we bow in humility and reverence, recognizing the weight of sin and the depth of your justice. Thank you for your endless mercy and ability to transform lives. Help us live according to your will, be instruments of your peace and love, and seek justice, love, and mercy. Forgive us when we stray from your path, renew our spirit of repentance and faith, and guide us in righteousness. May we witness your grace and mercy. In Jesus' name, Amen. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it valuable, please subscribe, share, like and comment. Thank you, and may God bless you.